All right, ladies and gentlemen, and those of you who choose to remain genderless, how are you? So today I've got something special to show you. This. And two hands required. I've had this about six or seven years and it's been lying in the room upstairs for about two years and oddly enough it weighs about as much as my vacuum cleaner. Look at that glorious sunshine. So the first thing I'm going to do before I actually start with this base shaker video is, see this? That's some pretty awesome, pretty awesome coffee. It will wake you up if you're not already woken. If you happen to be sleepwalking, then I'm afraid you have other issues. All right, um, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so first things first, good news and bad news for you guys. For you guys that like bass videos, bad news. And for those of you that aren't particularly fond of bass videos, good news. So what do you want first, good news or bad news? How about both? This channel isn't always gonna be about bass. And there we go, that's all. And there we go, the coffee is now done and ready for consumption by moi. Moi and only moi, because moi is the only person here. Now then, this. This is the wrong way around. This is my most prized possession. No, it's not, it's not really. I think the sub is probably that sub right there, that big thing right there that you've seen in previous videos is probably my most prized possession. Other than again, probably the uh, AV receiver, which cost a bit more than that. Um, no, okay, I don't have any prized possessions. This is the Butt Kicker LFE. And now what this does is it simulates the low frequencies like explosions and low frequency stuff it saves you from having to buy really large subs and having them turned up really loud, which also is good for your neighbors. So this thing, I've had it about six years, seven years, maybe even eight years. I'm not too sure, it's something like that. Um, it's been lying upstairs since I moved into this property for about three years. That's uh, why it's all dusty and stuff. And there was another platform that sort of um, attaches to this in the loft, in the top of the house someplace, or in one of the bedrooms. And this was just lying by itself in the corner um, and being used as a doorstop. So the platform that this attaches to, actually is supposed to go under your chair or whatever it is you sit on so that you can feel the vibrations this makes. So I've had this quite some time now and it used to be attached to the underside of my bed in the old house I used to, in the previous house I was staying in, and that was my parents' place. The bedroom was just a, a little bigger than the living room in this house, and I used to use the farthest wall as a projection screen. So yeah, I've always been into like sound and audio and stuff, so this is something I, you know, naturally sort of just went for. And here on the underside you can see some specs. So there's another guy that's made a video on one of these recently. He's bought a newer version of this. Um, I think it was a kit he'd bought and he's basically got the same stuff I've got. Only I got this about seven or eight years ago. So what I'm gonna do now is um, probably take this out. And yeah, I do get bored of this, like I said in the previous video. The previous video in which I made talking about this thing, attaching it to that, the power socket. So yeah, what I'll do now is I'll take this out and connect this to it. All right, let's get to it. Now I've got to be careful doing this. There are wires attached to that sub and hopefully they're long enough. And they are, which is brilliant. I'm gonna wrap some of this around there. Oh, hey. If I unhooked these without actually marking which is black and which is red, then I'd get mixed up and I'd have to pull out the entire sub to see on the, on the back of it uh, which is positive and which is negative because the holes that these wires come through I've actually marked positive and negative on. Now, I just realized I need some wires. Need some wires. Where are some wires when you need them? Wires come to me. Where are you? Oh. Hey, 
Look what I found, I found wires. That was convenient. Now I'm gonna turn on the PC because we need the PC to be working, don't we? My dick fell off! So the only slightly odd thing about this setup is that this has a frequency response of 5 hertz to 200 hertz and this has a frequency response of 10 hertz to something. What I'm gonna do now is just wire these and put these wires in. And I'm doing this without actually looking at what I'm doing because I'm, well, I am looking at what I'm doing, but I'm looking through the camera screen. And that is, it's, it's slightly weird. If I can get my words out right, then we will have a great video. If I can't get my words out right, then we will still have a great video. And we are now done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm only joking. I need to wire the back of this now. Swapping hands. Swapping hands with somebody else. Give me your hands. So that goes into that. No shit. Tighten it up. This one goes into there. I said this one goes into there. See, sometimes they don't listen. They like to do what they want to do. And you've just got to repeat yourself and uh, eventually they listen. There we go. So now we turn this on and we turn this on. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably, let's uh, let's try to play some music on this, shall we? Or maybe even a movie because music tends to get copyrighted, doesn't it? Okay, so spoiler alert, that's sign language for spoiler alert. <clears throat> I got this movie called Signs. Uh, it's not Signs, fucking hell. Bloody hell, Signs. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, got this movie called Arrival, and if you haven't seen Arrival, check it out, it's not bad. Also, if you haven't seen Arrival, close your eyes and your ears because possible spoiler alerts, maybe? So this is um, gonna be fun. Well, it's not gonna be fun. What am I talking about? Why am I saying it's gonna be fun for you? This is n Let me just press play on the movie and uh, we can see this in action. So the high cutoff is turned off, the low cutoff is turned off. On the AV receiver, we have the volume at 52, and obviously reference volume is actually like, reference volume is 84 or 82. 82 is reference volume, and that is a volume you want to have it if you are insane. So we're gonna put it on 50, let's leave it there. Um, that is a volume there. I'm gonna hit play and we can see what happens. You can still hear the movie because obviously the movie is gonna be playing through the other speakers connected to the AV receiver. This is just for the lows, as I've already said. Okay, I'm gonna press play now. And sorry if I spoil the movie for you. I'll reimburse you with more videos. <coughs> Okay, so another part of the movie, I had to skip forward a little bit because it went quiet, which is typical. Oh, hey, that scared the shit out of me. I think I had the volume turned up too loud. Shit. I actually warmed up from that. Okay, now I know it's gonna come. Let's just see that again. I'm not gonna turn the volume up too much this time. Shit, I don't even know when it's going to happen. Alright, okay, it's going to happen. And that is what this shaker does. Now, can you imagine it being attached to the underside of your bed and then the wall directly in front of you having a projected screen of about 200 inches? As this started jumping around, I think there was air coming out of these bits. Yeah, that was, uh, let's, uh, try, let's try something else. All right, so I've loaded up this online tone generator. And you know how much I like this website, don't you? Actually, not that much, but um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go through some frequencies and we'll see how well this responds. Okay, that annoying tone is 200 hertz and it's doing absolutely nothing. 
nothing whatsoever. It's like, it's like, what do you want me to do? Volume full. And this doesn't matter because the high cutoff is turned off. So let's change that. You can't see the screen because the ISO is, because the screen's too bright. Let's change it to, let's just start at 100 because nobody cares about anything above that. Ooh. And now it's vibrating. It's, it feels like a mobile phone vibrating, just a little stronger. And also my other speakers are going crazy as well, which I completely forgot to take into consideration. And I think my neighbor's home. Let's just, let's just go for the low notes, shall we? 40 hertz. Don't know if you can see that. Can you see? No, you can't see that. I can barely see it with my own eyes. Maybe if I turn up the shutter. Sh can you see anything? How about now? That looks weird. Let's try. There you go. That's 30 hertz. And yeah, you can feel the air coming out of these. Sounds like a washing machine. Let's try 40 hertz. Uh, no, hang on. This is now 25 hertz. 25 hertz turns it into jelly. Now we have 20 hertz. Nope. That's 15 hertz. Definitely made for low frequencies. That is 10 hertz. And now we'll try eight. That is eight hertz. See now this, it would be, would normally be um, screwed into something. You wouldn't hear any rattling or anything. Ideally there would be a movie playing and this would just be doing its job in the background. It would be filling in those lows that would normally be done by a sub, by a really powerful sub. Sometimes probably not able to be done by a sub because like this is eight hertz, eight hertz. You can only feel eight hertz. So this is what it's designed for. And this is now 5 hertz. You can probably hear it. It says on the website that this is 10 hertz and upwards, but it's clearly doing 5 hertz. And I know that because, let me change, change the thing so you can see, there we go, that's, that's 5 hertz. 5 hertz and it seems to be doing it, and that seems to be putting it out. Three hertz. You ready? You ready? So that's, you clearly saw that said three hertz, right? So let me just focus, focus. Are we focused? Now let me turn up the volume for this. Can you hear it? Three hertz. That is weird. Let me put the squeaky toy there, then you can see that it's doing it itself. I ain't doing shit. Look at that. That's three hertz. Duck's enjoying it. So yeah, this has been the Butt Kicker LFE. The Butt Kicker BKA1000N. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you what this butt kicker does. Now, what am I gonna do? I have no idea. Oh, I'm gonna put this video together. All right, so yeah, this has been another video. So this has been another video by me, brought to you by me, and um, I hope you have a nice day, or evening, or night, or if you're in bed, good night. Um, if you're not in bed, if you just, um, oh, I don't know what I'm going on about. See you later.